What is up guys, my name is Smashbox here, welcome to another episode of Soccer uh, Dungeon. Thank you guys for coming into another episode, and for now we're gonna explore the first dungeon, which is the first dungeon we went through. So, let's continue. As we step inside, I can smell the earth and dust in the air. A dim darkness illuminated by a few spare torches spreads out in the front of us. It is all too familiar to me. It's good to be home. So, before we get started, there's just a few things I would like to make clear, Yomi. Yes? If you're going to work together, we, can we please approach this my way? Although you're very powerful, I do not know how much dungeon deviling you've done. So I feel like it would be best to use my experience here. As you wish. I'm here to simply provide guidance. What path you take is up to you. Strange words from someone who just enslaved me. It's just a necessary part of our agreement. So, what do you propose? She pulls out a bundle of papers and, and what appears to be a writing quill. Navigating a place like this is a difficult task. You need to map every little step you take. It's far too easy to get lost if you don't to keep track. Very well. Anyway, I will take point. That's a really good idea to never whoever does dungeon diving or whatever it is, you have to mark like track your every movements so you can go not get lost. That's pretty smart of her. Let's get let's get going, Yomi. Oh! I see something moving in the battle. I think that's his battle. Navigate the dungeon using the W Q A S D. Okay. As you make W makes you move forward. Q and E makes you turn left and right. S moves backwards. D and A D makes you side to side. You can also use the arrow keys for movement. Pressing the two key will make you automatically move forward un until you meet an obstacle. Every step you take is recorded on your map in the bottom left hand of well have corner. Remember, you pay attention to your map. It will be essential in the journey ahead. You can save your game anytime, anytime that you are not in battle. If you lose a battle, the game will be over. So make sure you save frequently. You can quick save the game by pressing F5. You you load your quickest uh your your latest quick save file by pressing F9. Okay. I'm pressing My letter didn't work for some reason. I'm gonna have to use these arrows on the bottom right, dude. Like, freak. It won't let me use my freaking. I guess because I'm using the caps or something. I don't, I don't know. Let's continue. Battle. So, I already saved, so I'm not that quite worried. As we walk forward, I hear the sound of something moving in the darkness. Immediate Siri immediately reacts, reading her weapon to strike. Bit by bit, our enemy emerges in into the light of Siri's blasting torch. It's a bunny! Oh my god! She's so go she's so beautiful! She's so cute! Oh, visitors! A rabbit monster? Aren't these not notoriously weak? Nothing in the dungeon as it seems. She has absorbed part of my power. Do not underestimate her. I'm very, very, I'm very sorry, but the dungeon lore has made it clear that visitors are not allowed. I'm also very sorry, but I can't leave. Let's get this out of the way. You are about to enter your first battle. Oh, yeah. Bottom left hand corner displays your active party member. Oh, hang on a second. There you go. At the party members and their status. When is your turn? When it when it is it the turn of one of your party members? They will appear on the right side of your screen. Yep, right there. Their available skills will be directly below them. Each skill uses AP to slowly recover through the course of battle. All monsters have the guard skill, which recovers AP and protects against attacks. 
Select the target of your attacks by clicking on it. The enemy status is displayed above their character's sprites. Oh, okay. In order in which party members and enemies take turns, it is displayed on the top right of the screen. Excuse me. Your party members have gold, bar gold borders around their portraits. Where whereas enemies have red portraits. Now then, defeat the bunny girl to proceed. Good luck! Alright. So I can either press guard, single slash, I see. Takes 15 AP, CP0, power hit, critical hit. Okay. How about this one? Oh god. Yo. Clothes are ripping. Oh my god. 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 Yo. Get ready for a freaking like freaking picture to put on fucking YouTube. Oh my god. Defeated. Oh my god. You found 10 mana shards. Yes! We got one! Oh my god! Yo! I love the fact that they didn't add like a text box or like something like there. What are you covering? No! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a fucking perverted fuck. Oh my god. I can see her tail behind her freaking uh, skirt, whatever it is. But she's all, all in shock, like, no! As Siri deals the final blow, the bunny girl is practically blown away by the force. Hang on a second. Go back. Tap. There you go. No, no, not skip, not skip mode. I just wanted to get a screenshot of it. Alright, yeah. I guess I'll take a screenshot of it like later on, but oh my god. As Siri defeat deals the final blow, the bunny girl is practically blown away by the force of it. Her clothes are torn, are torn to tatters, leaving her completely exposed. Huh, that sounds so familiar, like at the beginning of this game. So much force, my clothes are ripped. For a moment, she just sits there on the cave floor, looking down at the cloth straps on the floor. My. My clothes! No! You know what? I'm not gonna make any voices for, uh, for the other ones. I, I can't do voices right now since my throat hurts. I'm just gonna do like a regular voice for the, for the enemies and, and other characters for now. Why did this have to happen? Extremely embarrassed, she tries to cover herself with her hand. Which is not... well... Yeah, which is kind of helping but not much. Bye button. You didn't have to be that mean, you know. I know that I had to stop you, but you really have shouldn't use such excess force. Okay, so if someone fights with you, you can expect them to go easy on you? No. Especially when they're wearing armor, that doesn't mean that they're gonna go easy on you. A loud sniffle comes from the bunny. Oh no, I don't want her to be crying. An uneasy look settles on Siri's face. I'm sorry, but it was necessary. If you just had let me pass, this wouldn't have happened. You. He had clearly won, you know? But then you destroy my clothes? The Dungeon Lord doesn't give us new clothes for months on end. She is so mean to us on the upper floors. Oh shit, dude. Now that's one of the Dungeon Lords that needs to be defeated. A bitch. A uh, Siri looks back at me. It's only the first floor, and I don't really feel like a villain. Oh my god. She lets out a heavy sigh. Is there anything we can do for her? Absolutely. I walk over her to her sniffing to the sniffing bunny. She looks up to me with dewy eyes. Oh come on. Everything's gonna be fine. I gently pat her on the head. She looks like a little pest. I mean, she, she looks a little less upset then. It, is it? Head back up the stairs and talk to my innkeeper. She'll make new clothes for you. But but if I leave, the overseer will get angry. And she'll really, really she she's really really scary when she's angry. Wait, she'll be angry anyway. I'm in so much trouble. You don't have to be come back. If you leave, you can just leave forever. They aren't going to be any. They aren't going to be able to hunt you down. R really? Her eyes are filled with hope now. Yes, please tell me we're gonna be playing with her. Yes, please. She eagerly awaits my confirmation. Yes, just get out of here. But, but, are you going to stop them? This is why we're here. I cannot tolerate injustice being done to poor little monsters. The, 
Thank you. Do your best down here. She immediately leaves, taking off far faster than I was expecting. Well, of course, she's a bunny. Well done, Siri. You have won your first battle. It is merely one step of a long journey, but she was far stronger than I was expecting. She said she, said she absorbed part of your power. Yes. Part of my power has been stolen from me and shared among the monsters in, of this dungeon. If we're going to survive, we need to we will need to reclaim as much of it as is possible. I will share my power with you as as we go along, Siri. Well, although I prefer to use my own strength, I'll take whatever bonds I take I can. All right, so there's two ways I can go straight. Oh wait. Ah, uh, okay, we're gonna do this shit again, okay. Okay, so I can speed up the battle. No, I can't do anything. Oh, I still get freaking damage. Okay, so this really is like a one of those games. Event! Oh sweet. You have gained experience or XP during your last battle. XP is gained in three ways. Attack an opponent, being attacked by an opponent, or when a character defeats an enemy. When an ally defeats an opponent, all part members, including members in the back line and in town again, gain XP. When fighting against opponents with higher levels, you will gain additional XP. When fighting against weaker opponents, you will gain less XP. Okay, so everyone gets XP whenever you fight or not, but all I know is that the stronger ones get more and the weaker ones you get less XP, which doesn't quite matter for me. I'll keep fighting until I get that certain level. When a character gains 100 XP, they will level up. Okay, 100 XP. Nine. Oh, eight. All right. Beat it. Siri, before we proceed further, I need to ask a favor of you. What is it, Yomi? I know you that you not you do not appreciate your position right now, but I am afraid that we need to capture more subordinates. So, you want me to catch them for you? Exactly. While I do not agree with this idea as a matter of principle, we need as many allies as we can get. So, what is it you need me to do? I will show you how to use the capture spell. Okay, sweet. So we can get we can get people like we got the bunny girl. So can the bunny girl be one of our allies? Since I'm directly challenging my magic through you, it should be a simple task. Very well, show me. Now Siri has learned to capture ability. All monsters you encounter at random while inside the dungeon can't be captured. After capturing, they will be sent to the prison in your hometown. Prison? I thought we could just send them to the inn, but okay. You need to go meet your captured monsters if you want to add them to your party. To capture a monster, you must do enough damage with the capture ability to defeat her. Ideally, you should weaken them until they can be taken out with one hit. Not all monsters can be captured this way, but there may be other means of recruiting other monsters to your cause. Monsters who are higher level than the ca caster of the capture spell cannot be captured. Okay. Look a barrel. Barrel. Alright, let's see. Do let's 
see. Capture, there he goes. I can't, I can't use it, but... Oh, it's because I used too much mana, that's why. There you go. I think I'm losing a, a little bit more mana if I keep encountering monsters. Siri. Alright. Strange. I do not feel any fatigue while I'm down here. Monsters naturally recover quickly from wounds and tiredness. I have passed some of those traits to you from our contract. Well, I cannot complain about that. There's no healing magic in this game. Instead, all party members regenerate health over time. For each turn in battle, or for every two steps, a party member will recover health based on how much re resilience they have. If a monster outfit is damaged, the, re the recovery rate is reduced by half. Oh, ah, okay. These, this is all like really new to me because like right now I have, I have to learn all about these l little things that could ha like could have a big, uh, big problem. A monster's outfit is damaged when they take critical hit, or their current BP is lower than the half of their maximum BP. The resilience rating of your current party members is fairly low, so be sure to frequently use Visit Town to recover. Injured and knocked out of party members will recover in all of their health when they are Visit, da visit Town. Damaged outfits will also be automatically repaired. Okay. And that is the first floor of the dungeon. I knew you can do it. Well, it's only the beginning. I can only imagine what is waiting for us down here. I would not think too much about it. After all, it is best to take things one step at a time. One floor, one step, one f one battle. Yes, I am very much aware. I do not know how deep the dungeon reaches down into Earth. So I am prepared for the worst. No. Right now... I'm going to save the game for now. Right here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is where I'm going to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and press the like button. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sakura Dungeon. See you guys later. Bye.